wait a minute. Miss Ruby is actually pregnant? The guys were right? Hey, while Dylan's out, be sure to watch part one if you missed it. If Miss Ruby really is pregnant, that changes everything. Classes will become unbearable. The baby will cry the whole time. Ugh, what's this? Just imagine the smell if the baby needs a diaper change. Ugh, that smell is pretty shocking. Good thing Dylan woke up. And don't worry, he's fine. At least he is until he sees his test scores. Oh, Dylan, so sensitive. Recently, everyone has been super interested in Dylan, probably thanks to his very impressive wrist brace. Everyone wants to know what happened, but he can't tell them the truth, even though it was an epic story. It was just like an action movie. And I know exactly what happened, because Jim told me his version of events. Apparently, it happened at the chess tournament. Sports can be dangerous, and chess is way more dangerous than it seems. Dylan was up against his worst enemy, and who goes to a different school. Codename, Andy Queen. Dylan moved the piece so hard that he hurt his arm. Jim, was that the best story you could come up with? Ever since Dylan and Jim found out about Miss Ruby's little secret, they decided to help her, no matter what and she might need some extra support. I've never seen them be this helpful before. There must be more to it. Jim is clearly trying to get a better grade in Miss Ruby's class. And she seems into it. She likes all this extra attention. She's always wanted to get special treatment, and now she's getting it. The boys are working overtime. They put on some ocean sounds for her. Miss Ruby is on cloud nine, and she falls asleep. But then, she has a nightmare. I wonder what it was. Maybe she's worried that motherhood won't be right for her. Who knows how hard it'll be? And what if her kids grow up like Dylan and Jim? <laughs> I'm just kidding, they're fine. And I don't know what Miss Ruby was actually dreaming about. And we'll probably never know. She really did scare the boys, though, when she came out of the hall wearing the fluffy slippers that Jim put on her. Those are Jim's personal slippers, with dogs on them. <laughs> he did his best. Nobody laughed at Miss Ruby after that. Dylan and Jim are keeping their eye on Miss Ruby. Make sure nothing bad happens to her. But their actual motivation is that they suspect Miss Ruby isn't taking her pregnancy seriously. So they start destroying all the unhealthy stuff they can find to protect her. What? As for Miss Ruby, she has no idea what's going on. She only realized where her snacks went later, when the guys got worried about this horror movie scaring her too much and covered her eyes. Now, that's overkill, for sure. And Miss Ruby is getting mad. Wow, they got in big trouble. If you thought that would stop Jim and Dylan, you were totally wrong. Miss Ruby thought she could at least get some peace at home. But Jim and Dylan are stubborn, and since they want Miss Ruby to be comfortable, they're going to commit fully. They even spent all their allowances on making a surprise for her. They bought her a crib. They wanted it to be subtle, and they wanted Miss Ruby to be happy. Was she? As soon as she opened her eyes and saw them, she was horrified. So what if they had good intentions? The road to the principal's office is paved with good intentions. Seriously, stalking your teacher is a bad idea. Dylan has been having trouble ever since he hurt his arm. His grades have been slipping because it's hard for him to raise his hand. This whole time he's been using his good arm, so it's overworked by now. Not even Jim could help him. He was actually just getting in his way. But to be honest, Dylan has been handling it pretty well. He can write with no hands. 
impressive. Back to Miss Ruby. And the craziest plot twist so far. The guys were trying to help Miss Ruby, as always, because she's pregnant. Or that's what she thought. Ready for the plot twist? Ta-da! Here it is. Miss Ruby's doctor called her and said that he mixed up the test results. She is definitely, certainly not pregnant. She wanted to tell the boys, but they were being so sweet. So she decides to pretend to be pregnant. She'll tell the truth, eventually, but there are other consequences to her lie, too. The guys don't just want to make her comfortable, they also control her food. They're way too worried about the baby's health, so she can't exactly eat yummy snacks around them. Dylan even got maternity vitamins somewhere. He's taking this way too seriously. Miss Ruby is gonna have to be subtle, at least until the guys find out the truth. She can't stop herself. The only thing Miss Ruby loves more than her future millionaire husband is chips. But she shouldn't forget about her little secret. What would happen if she got caught? She's not safe anywhere. Not even in the bathroom. Apparently, the school's plumber is a fencing champion, and he takes everything as a challenge. Luckily, he's not in the mood to fence today. But Miss Ruby's love for chips has consequences too. The guys didn't know that Miss Ruby ate too many chips. They assumed that she was just nauseous. So they rushed to the rescue. It would have been fine, but Dylan smelled the chips. Ooh, this is awkward. But Jim and Dylan didn't get suspicious. They even prepared another surprise for Miss Ruby. They took her to get an ultrasound done. They can't wait to find out if it's a boy or a girl. And they thought Miss Ruby would want to know too. But the problem is, she's not really pregnant. Ugh, this has gone too far, and the boys are gonna have to find out sometime. So she's gonna make a run for it. The only place she could go was the fence. It's dark and cramped. Who knows what or who lives in here? After spending an hour in the vents, Ruby found an exit in a dentist's office. Why was she so mad? Her smile was blinding. As for Jim and Dylan, they got their ultrasounds done. Well, Dylan did. His appendix looks like a boy. This intern needs to study some more. Jim loved it, and Dylan started imagining being pregnant. He came up with a name for his son. He'll call him Dylan. Just like his father. But Jim had to break the very sad news that he's not actually pregnant. Meanwhile, Miss Ruby is in real trouble. Principal Monica isn't impressed with her job performance. Things are getting serious. Miss Ruby sleeps in class, takes selfies, or does her makeup, but she hardly ever teaches. One more slip up and she might get fired. If Dylan and Jim hadn't told Principal Monica that Ruby was pregnant, Maybe she would have gotten fired that very day. But as soon as she found out, she decided to just put her on probation instead. Things are getting out of hand. The boys want to spread the good news all over the school. This is way too much. Miss Ruby has to put a stop to this. Maybe if the guys focus on their studies, they'll forget about her pregnancy. But obviously that didn't happen. Dylan and Jim even threw her a party and hired a DJ. This whole thing went way too far. 
So Miss Ruby has to confess, even though it's difficult. What? That evening, she announced that she's not pregnant. That was brave, since there's a lot at stake here. And Principal Monica warned her that she had one more slip up left. And this was it. Do you think Miss Ruby will get fired? Tell us what you think in the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you never miss a new video from Troom Troom Trick.